Hello guys, today we will be sharpening a knife from Vanetti Standstill using KO3 and we will get in the same sharpening angle with the help of our digital protractor and we will see the exact angle later. And for this knife we will be using Vinov Diamond Stones. As I said, this knife is made of laminate Vanetti Stand and its hardness is 64-65 HRC. Unfortunately, I don't know who the manufacturer is, so if you know it, let us know in the comments. Also, we got a new item today, it's a big microscope, and from now on we will use it in our future episodes, which will definitely make our videos more exciting. Now you can see the cutting edge, and it is quite dull. Perhaps it was restored with hunting still. In some places we can see some chips. Maybe it hit a bone or it chopped something. Before we proceed to sharpening, let me show you its sharpness. That's its working part. Let's see what is with its heel. It cuts more or less on the heel, but the closer we get to the working part, the more dull it is because this part of the knife is more used and, respectively, it gets dull more quickly. As for clamping, this is a full flat grind knife, but next to the bolster there is a straight flat part where we can reliably clamp the knife. And in this area we can clamp with the second clamp, which holds the knife in the right position. We are clamping the blade right in the center relative to the sharpening frame. Its blade geometry is quite simple, so it's not gonna be complicated to sharpen it. But just in case, we will draw a marker line on the cutting edge and it will help us monitor how the stone works. So we could move the knife accordingly if its secondary bevel narrows or the other way around expands on the tip of the knife. We always monitor it by eye. Now we are setting a first stone. It's 108 and we are focusing on the trace of the stone. I'll be falling into the same sharpening angle. Now we can see that the angle is too small. So let's lift it up a little bit. We got in the sharpening angle and now I'm fixing the lifting unit. Let's have a look at the angle we got. It's 20.9 degrees. Now let's lower it a little. Let's have 20.8 per side or let's round it up to 21, so it's 42 overall. In sharpening we don't have anything complicated here. Now we're gonna make some grinding work on the cutting edge to remove all gems and get the burr. In order to not slide off from the tip, we can carefully put our finger under it and sharpen this area. Let me remind you why we do this. If we put a finger here, a stone hits a finger and it doesn't slide off from the knife. It's done on this side and let's turn it over and do the same on the opposite side. That's it, we've sharpened it on both sides. Now let's see what we've got under the microscope, but before we will clean it from sludge. That's the result of the stone of 180 on the left and before sharpening on the right. So we formed some burrs. Now we have switched to a new diamond stone, 5040. We are working right on the burr with no pressure, reducing the scratches. To get exactly on the cutting edge, we recommend raising the lifting unit by 0.1 degree. But if you don't do that, you will just work a little bit longer. Now 
With 50-40 diamond stone we have reduced the scratches. And here on the right you can see how it was before. Now we are moving to a new diamond, 2014. It has OSB bond. So we're gonna apply some oil on it. Spread it around. And now we proceed to reduce scratches. By the way, one more important thing. Starting from 2014 stone, we are forming fine scratches from the heel towards the tip. Now let's have a look at the results under the microscope. But first, let's clean the blade from oil and sludge for a better view under the microscope. After 2014 stone, now the difference is more visible compared to 50-40 stone. Now the scratches got more fine and smaller. The last stone is going to be 10-7 on the OSB bond, which also works with oil. Let's apply some and proceed to reduce scratches. After 10.7 stone we reduced the scratches and formed them in one direction. On the right you can see what we had before sharpening. Let's conduct an experiment with the hair and try to cut it along and remove a chip from it. As you can see the knife is sharp as a razor and shows the best result. Now I'm gonna show you a cut on the receipt tape, which is thinner than a newspaper. That's a great result for hunting, and as you've just made sure under the microscope, it removes even hair shavings. Subscribe to our channel and other social media to stay up to date on the news.